I'm Bruce Giles. I'm the general manager at First Utility District in Knox County. I spent 13 years working for a municipality, and then I went to a, a extremely large consulting firm, and I was managing sewer rehab programs across the country. And so when I came here, um, we were already really in a real aggressive sewer rehab program. We got a really strong staff who was doing a lot of things, but I noticed that we had all these low pressure grinder pumps, E1s, and uh, I really questioned the rationale behind that because I knew very little about low pressure and honestly I thought who was stupid enough to install 2,000 pumps for me to maintain. You know I'm a numbers guy we, we really try it's cliche but we really try to run this like a, a business so data you know we look at data we look at business performance uh, finances cash all that. I started noticing the the level of expenditures or the dollars that I was spending or my team was spending on sewer rehab. And then I've got this, you know, 10% of my customer base was spending almost nothing on. So uh, it kind of started piquing my interest going, wait a minute now, if anyone that's been in the business for any amount of time understands that regulatory requirements drive a lot of our cash and where we spend our dollars. And so I'm spending a very little on this collection system that's uh, all terrain, as we call it, uh, versus the gravity. And uh, it just started, I started really digging in and looking at that, and my whole perspective started changing. I'm having no overflows, very few maintenance issues. I'm spending very little money on that. I've got two employees that are maintaining 2,300 pumps, you know, and then I've got a significant number of people that are working in my, my gravity sewer system for a significantly less results. My name is Ronnie Davis. I'm assistant manager for First Utility District from Knox County. I've been with the First Utility District for 44 years. We are a 18 million gallon a day wastewater plant running about 7 million gallons a day. We're in the western part of, of Knoxville. We service, uh, we have about 700 miles of sewer line in the ground. Uh, we service roughly 33,000 customers, uh, water and sewer. We roughly have 2,000 all-terrain pumps in service, uh, about 10% of our customer base that are using the all-terrain pump. Well, there are several factors that govern the reason that we went to the all-terrain pump. There are several properties that were not able to be developed because of the elevation or rock in the ground. So low pressure, seal, no infiltration, uh, it was best, best for the project. This facility was established probably Oh, seven or eight years ago, this facility here is just for E1s. We have two guys here servicing 2,000 pumps. I think in the beginning we were told the average life would be 10 to 12 years. We've got some pumps that's been in 17 to 20 years, uh, just now coming up on being a service call done on them. Uh, one of the things that's uh, unique, a lot of people have these pumps and don't even know it until the alarm goes off on it and they call us and say, hey, we checked the box out beside the house. It says call First Utility District. They never were aware that they were on an all-terrain pump. In the study we performed, the, the maintenance was about 100% more in the gravity system when compared to the all-terrain system. I don't like deep sewer. I don't like deep gravity sewer. Uh, a lot of systems think about today what's in front of them. Deep gravity sewer has to be maintained. That's a health and safety issue in years to come. In the past, and including here, there was no control over how deep when developers came in, you know, it'd be 20 feet deep. Well, my staff is now have, going back and maintaining that sewer, and it's dangerous. So our engineering staff now will not even approve gravity over 10 feet deep. We just say, no, you go back and develop a low pressure system. So we are, we are pushing more toward the low pressure system now from a health and safety issue, from a cost issue, and also just from the long, longevity of the system and the regulatory requirements that gravity is causing.